Good morning, everyone. My name is Tom Carmona. I'm co-founder of CityDictionary.com, one of the hottest new local websites on the internet. Hello. .com is a user-generated website. With Let's break on the dictionary. Good morning, everyone. My name is Tom Carmona. I'm co-founder of CityDictionary.com, one of the hottest new local websites on the Internet. It is. CityDictionary.com is a user-generated website with an emphasis on city-specific language and culture. We have dictionaries for all cities in the United States where users create entries for whatever defines those cities. Uh, they tend to focus on local slang and certain cultural eccentricities that uh, truly make a, a city unique and define that local flavor. So what's this local flavor? Well, let me just show you some of the top entries in the Madison Dictionary to give you an idea. Um, if you look at number eight, uh, People's Republic of Madison, uh, we just recently chose that as the word of the day, and it was picked up by the Capital Times. They wrote an article about it, and it was a top story on uh, Madison.com that day. They're showing how uh, uh, impactful of a local concept this can be. Uh, some of these terms you might be abundantly familiar with, some you might not be. But that's what cool, what's cool about CityDictionary.com is that you get to interact with locals and see how other people define the city. And uh, often it's very different. As you can see on a, uh, one of our more representative entries here in Madison, Terrace Chairs, uh, people have six different takes on it, six different competing definitions, which are voted up and down depending on quality. And right there on the same page, you can add the def your own definition. And our users tend to uh, upload nice, nice images, and when you click on them, they expand them to full size. And you can also add uh, uh, an address if there's a relevant one, and it links up to Google Maps and shows you where some of these different land landmarks and restaurants and bars are uh, within the dictionary. On our homepage, we've also implemented a, a custom polling feature uh, where we're uh, you know, sending this out to people uh, via widgets and also via broadcast partners, uh, trying to capture all this interesting local data uh, like regional variation vocabulary. Here we have, uh, what do you call this? Uh, three carbonated beverages. You say pop, soda, coke, tonic, soft drink. You input your zip code. And then you, uh, after you vote, you see the results. And you can click through to the results map where you can see the breakdown state by state of uh, you know all the different votes. And the, the, the answers, the, the questions and answers can be a text format, images, and also voice. Um, we actually implemented in our phone system the ability to um, call in, leave a voicemail. It goes from MP3 to web. Uh, so leaving all sorts of options for these, this polling feature, as, as well as the, the entries themselves, so people giving their own pronunciation. So today, uh, we've captured uh, over 5,500 definitions uh, from over 750 active users. We've drummed up a lot of interest from uh, local media here in Madison, publications like Wisconsin State Journal, Capital Times, they've written two articles about us, Isthmus, 77 Square. And what we've uh, realized from uh, the traffic generated from these websites is that, well, first of all, the traffic is 10 times as valuable, 10 times the page views per, per visitor. Uh, most of our um, power users come from, these, come from these websites and most of our good content and leading us to conclude that the local media audience is really our audience. Those diehard locals that uh, you know lived in the area all their life, moved there uh, for college, stayed there, loved it, they're the consumers of local media, watch the local news, read the local newspaper, which makes our syndication strategy so, uh, so incredibly powerful. Yesterday, we uh, signed a, uh, a contract with Broadcast Interactive Media of, uh, of Madison, they manage websites for 130 broadcast partners across the United States, local affiliates of ABC, NBC, and CBS. So what we're going to do is we're going to implement our local dictionaries uh, with their UNews TV product. Uh, many of you might be familiar here with the uh, um, local ABC station, Channel 27. You can upload videos and photos up to their website and create your own uh, news stories. City Dictionary will be a channel within that, and it will have full functionality on the local partner's website. So whenever somebody uh, creates a, a definition for an entry or a new entry, it goes straight to citydictionary.com. And as I said before, uh, just as an example, the Madison Dictionary will, will be syndicated on the local ABC station website, and um, it will really 
offer a good hook for the local broadcast station that needs to differentiate itself from the you know other uh, players in the area. So they can mention it on air. Go to the city. Go to the Madison Dictionary. Add your entry. Um, also, we'll offer the, the polling, the polls to them. Uh, another reason for people to go from you know watching TV back to the broadcast website. So clearly, any one of these uh, partnerships, um, sing any single partnership, is incredibly valuable. But in May, we'll actually be launching with 60 such partners, um, as you can see with the, the yellow stars on the map. Very good content, very good spread across the country. At the end of the year 2009, uh, what we expect to have implemented with all of Broadcast Interactive Media's partners. And to put that into perspective, there are only 210 television market areas in the United States. So we're talking about becoming a household name in over half of the markets in the United States. So beyond this uh, great uh, branding that we get from the partnership, we also get 25% of the dictionary revenue from the local partner websites. We'll retain ownership over any content created on those partner sites, and we get uh, a link at the bottom of each dictionary page saying poweredbycitydictionary.com, which is eventually going to add up to uh, hundreds of thousands of uh, links from high-quality local media websites. So just taking inventory of whom and what we're actually targeting, well, first of all, we're targeting these diehard locals I referred to before through our local media partnerships behind the strong local brands that people already trust. But I know what a lot of you are thinking, why would I ever go to this website? You know, you may or may not be interested in the local language and culture um, to, to such an extent to go to a dictionary. But if you've ever you know, searched for a local business, whether you're um, you know, in the area or you're traveling to another one, uh, you might not purposely go to our website, but you will find us through search engines. And that's because local business listings uh, account for the vast majority of the entries that people make on our website. Uh, let's face it, you know, there's there's only a limited amount of slang. That's going to be our branding, but um, restaurants and bars, you know, nightlife, things like that. That's really that's also what defines the city. Um, and so, if we have, so we're going to have hundreds of thousands of business listings, and then you add to that the fact that we're going to have hundreds of thousands of links from uh, reputable reputable uh, local media websites. That's going to equate to plenty of love from search engines uh, such as Google uh, in the form of search engine results. And these organic unpaid search results are no marginal cost to us to get. So um, it's going to be a very cost-effective way to target the local online advertising market, which last year was $14 billion. And nearly half of that was attributed to local search, exactly the type of uh, client we're going to be targeting. And so as you see from the, our two main revenue streams, the uh, syndication revenue in year one is going to be what uh, um, you know, helps sustain us. But in the long term, uh, once those we reach a critical mass of those two variables of, of local business listings and um, you know good reputation from all these links, the the uh, these the search traffic is going to grow exponentially, and that's really that intent-based uh, web visitor already looking for uh, a local business uh, review, for example, to um, influence a commercial decision. That's going to be what what really powers uh, our revenue growth. So to summarize the business model, it's twofold. We're going to be a content provider for all these local uh, media websites, getting 25% of the dictionary revenue for our content, our syndicated content. And then we're also going to be a web destination on citydictionary.com. The economic logic behind that is, first of all, we have brand awareness over, 100, over half of the markets in the United States within the first year. We'll have hundreds of thousands of local business listings that get good search results from all these links that we get from uh, reputable media partners, targeted advertising, so uh, from intent-based web visitors, and, and, and on our website, geographically targeted advertisements. And an attractive cost structure, because not only are we user-generated, uh, we essentially get our content for free once we get people on the website. We, what our, our best marketing channel, which is syndication, not only of zero marginal cost to us once we implement it, but it actually makes us money. So who, who, who else is out there? There's uh, lo local re review websites like Yelp, uh, Emerging Leader and Restaurant Reviews. There's also uh, the incumbent giant City Search, uh, owned by Interactive uh, Corp, a big media conglomerate. And they just recently purchased, uh, in 2007, Insider Pages, another local review site, for $13 million. So keep that in mind as comparable. So these, these, these websites are highly capitalized. They have good market position. Uh, but, but what's really missing, though, 
is the legitimacy on that local level. Nobody, you know, nobody here in Madison is like, oh, I just got to go to City Search. Um, they're missing that local flavor, the ability to be legitimate with the local media, uh, with the local media companies. We've already established that link, signed a contract yesterday. We're going to get distribution to all of these diehard locals, people who, you know, always watch the, the local news, and uh, will be a hook for the local broadcast partners to get people to their websites. And what's success going to look like for us? Well, in 2010, in the second half, we're going to uh, make uh, positive cash flow. Um, we're going to make positive cash flows. And then 2011, uh, once our search traffic uh, picks up, we're going to uh, uh, make $1.4 million in advertising and uh, nearly 50% even margins. And that's even with uh, uh, very aggressive advertising, buying advertising, that is. And so in order to get there, we'll need a $200,000 equity investment, just a one-time investment for the development of web applications for our syndication partners, um, you know, the polls and other applications uh, on, on viral uh, platforms like Facebook and the iPhone, uh, and as well as the promotion of the website on uh, proven web platforms like Facebook. We'll buy advertising on Facebook, which is uh, at this point very cheap, and the targeting ability on that platform is incredible for our concept. And we expect a one point, uh, nearly one point eight billion dollar uh, million dollar, sorry, uh, post money valuation based on a six million dollar. Uh, terminal value discounted three years at 50 percent. Uh, the investor gets for their 200,000 uh, preferred stock convertible to 12 percent common stock, uh, of course, uh, by their choice uh, with an IRR of 50, 54 percent. But since that, uh, we, we expect the opportunity to, to be more in the 10, 10 to 15 million dollar range uh, because of the comparables, including insider pages of 13 million. Uh, you know, we fully expect that IRR to be higher than that. How will we get there? Well, we also have a great team. Uh, John Carmona, he's a, a marketing degree from the, from the UW, uh, over 10 years of experience in e-commerce management, uh, which very few people can say. He's the owner of a growing million-dollar e-commerce company. He's going to be the, the business brains behind it. Uh, I'm going to be the business legs, the VP of marketing and business development. Uh, I'll soon have my MBA, three years experience in search engine marketing and online advertising. Um, I know how to get traffic to websites, and I know how to monetize it very well. I was recently named one of the 40 under 40 by Invisible Magazine for my work with CityDictionary.com. Last but not least, we have a VP of Technology in Sam Kimmel, who is has a computer science degree from the EW. He is incredibly talented with the .NET platform. Uh, uh, my brother, John, he actually chose uh, Sam as an employee because out of all, in all of his experience, he's the most talented. He can get it done. So clearly we have a talented team. and. Um, we're willing to take a convertible preferred deal, so we obviously believe in the upside of this company. Uh, it's a very scalable model. Uh, we're going to be active in over half of the uh, markets in the U.S. with reputable uh, local brands behind us. Attractive cost structure, user-generated, and very cost-effective uh, syndication partnerships. Lowers cash flows in year one because we're uh, you know, taking as a percentage of revenue from reputable local media, uh, established local media companies. Huge opportunity in local search, making us financially viable. So there's intrinsic financial value um, in the company, but it's, uh, the real holy grail here is the strategic value uh, for a larger internet company looking to make a, an aggressive play in local online advertising. So I'd like to open it up for any questions you may have. About the ad selling process, the, the revenue generation. Okay. Um, we'll actually be selling... Uh, the majority of our advertising are site through Google AdSense. So, um, you know, as I said before, that the, the advertising revenue we get on our own website will be mostly from the search referred traffic. So it, it seems very it, it's very compatible. The, 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 per, the intent based person who's searching comes to a local review, and then they get a text based ad there. Um, it's going to be very relevant. We've seen very good click through rates uh, in the last month. We've had a 0.6 percent click through rate um, in the in the business plan. It, there was an implied 0.3% uh, click-through rate. We're actually seeing better than expected results on, on that advertising. Do you do you have to get to a certain level of um, visitation before you can actually, say, monetize Google AdSense, or will that work at any user volumes? Well, in the, in the last month, we've actually started monetizing with, the, with Google AdSense. Um, the, for, the, for the most part, we get um, our, our, our uh, traffic from search engines. And it monetizes very well. We've we've seen um, 
uh, just a little bit over uh, $1 CPM, and there's a $1 CPM uh, projected for 2009 in the business plan. So it's better than, better than expected. We can do that from day one. And can you extrapolate a little more on your competitors? I mean, financially, how are they doing? You know, where have they had success, and how? Did, you know, the okay, well, most, well, like Yelp, for example, is a privately held business. I don't, I don't believe they publish revenue. Um, they had an applied valuation of two hundred million uh, at the time of their last uh, funding round. Uh, they've raised thirty-one million dollars um, funding overall. But even though, it, but it's a it's a huge market. We're talking about a, like a fourteen billion dollar on local online advertising market. Half of it's the local search, basically a free for all, so you can get up to the. Um, uh, local search uh, results. We have a good strategy, a differentiated strategy to be active in all these uh, um, local markets and then, um, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. 